Hey, what's up, folks? If you're looking for the best motherboards, you've landed in the perfect spot. We've done the research to bring you the best motherboard options for this year. Considering price, performance, and usage scenarios, stick around to discover which motherboards is the best fit for you. You can find all the product links with the best deals in the description box below. Our list is in no particular order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end. Let's get started. Number one. MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. The best Z790 gaming motherboard you can buy right now thanks to its wealth of features, support for any Intel CPU, and reasonable price tag. At $319.PS337.EU569, it's not cheap, though compared to what some premium tier boards are selling for, it's not badly priced at all. There's tough competition from the other vendors in its price range, though. You're getting support for 4M.2 drives, though none of them are PCI 5.0 capable. PCI 4.0 is the fastest you get, but that's not an issue. The Z790 Tomahawk also comes with 7 SATA ports. For bulk storage, SATA still has a place, and those 7 ports alone may be a deal maker for some users. Unlike some PCI 5.0 SSD supporting boards, such as the more expensive Gigabyte Aura CC790 Master with its massive M.2 heatsink, the Tomahawk doesn't need one, sticking with a low profile design that doesn't require lots of surface area. If you make up a checklist of what you want from a motherboard, the MSI Z790 Tomahawk should have most of what you need. Things like USB 4 or 10G LAN are what board makers use to justify the price of motherboards costing double the money of the Z790 Tomahawk. The checklist is complete for most users. Number 2. ASRock B760 MPG Sonic Wi-Fi the ASRock B760M Sonic Wisconsin Fi is different not only is it a great looker, it's feature-rich and very capable, and our choice for the best B760 gaming motherboard. Mind you, the Sonic branding is everywhere. There's a large blue Sonic stencil on the rear of the board, and even the BIOS has a Sonic blue theme. The heatsinks have a brushed metal look, and you get a line of RGBS underneath the bottom M.2 heatsink. Fortunately, underneath it all is a very fine motherboard. The B760M Sonic has a good list of features for a Micro ATX board. It's got a PCI 5.0 X16 slot and a PCI 4.0 X1 slot. There are three PCI 4.0 M.2 slots, all of which are cooled by simple heatsinks, and they're joined by four SATA ports. The four memory slots support 192GB of memory, though with the latest BIOS you even have the option of running 256GB. Not that many will require that much RAM, but it's nice to know the potential is there, at least. The VRM setup is a decent 1211 phase design with dual 8 pin power connectors. It happily ran an i9-13900K in our testing, and it will accept 14th gen processors with the newer BIOS, so you won't have any concerns with a core i5 or i7 CPU. Number 3. Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite Axe. The best X670 gaming motherboard, then the Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite Axe comes with enough great features at such a reasonable price point that you shouldn't bother considering any X670 eboards. Part of the reason X670 eboards cost a lot is because of the high quality signaling required for both PCI C5.0 expansion and M.2 slots. But since PCI 5.0 X16 for graphics cards means nothing right now, an X670 board is a perfectly viable option. And at $289 PS349 AU599, the Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite Axe is a heck of a lot better value than X670 E boards. In total, there are four M.2 slots made up of the aforementioned primary PCI 5.0 X41, plus a further three PSEIE CI 4.0 X4 slots that are cooled by a single large heatsink. There are four SATA ports to round out the storage complement. Other highlights include a USB 3.2 Gen 2X2 Type-C header, power reset and CMOS clear buttons, and a Thunderbolt 4 header. The board comes with a 1622 phase VRM with 70 power stages. More than enough for the average user, throw a Ryzen 9 7950X with PBO enabled into the Elite Axe and you won't have a problem. Number 4. Asus ROG Crosshair V, I, I, I Dark Hero. The last AM4 motherboard you'll ever need, but for that to happen it will need to support any AM4 chip have masses of connectivity, run cool and stable at all times, and be really easy to use. Fortunately, it does all that, and it's absolutely the best X570 motherboard these days. The Dark Heroes design might be considered a little bland for a product with a launch price of $400.PS400.EU649, and while prices are lower now, you still can't describe it as cheap. Even if it feels affordable compared to the exorbitant prices of boards like the MSI Godlike and Gigabyte Aorus Extreme, but perhaps subtle is a better descriptor than bland, and there's nothing wrong with subtle aesthetics. 
the VRM setup is more potent than that in the regular hero and the power stages are now rated for 90A up from 60A. This brings it in line with some of the other premium X570 boards. It certainly won't have any issues regardless of what AM4 CPU you use or how much you overclock it. Storage options comprise three M.2 slots for PCI-CI 4.0 NVMe SSDs and eight SATA ports. For most PC gamers, that's more than enough, and if you really wanted to add more M.2 SSDs, you could always use an expansion card in the second X16 PCI CICS. There's tons of rear I.O. too, we're talking eight USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one of them being Type-C, and four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. It also has BIOS clear and flashback buttons, the usual set of audio ports including S.PDIF, and LAN and Wi-Fi antenna ports. There's little skimping on this front. Number 5. ASRock X870E Taichi ASRock's Taichi motherboards have impressed in recent years as top values for those looking for near-flagship features, like fast ports, robust power delivery, and a premium appearance and a lower price than the competition. And the latest iteration, the ASRock X870E Taichi, receives an updated design, more powerful VRMs, USB 4.040 GBPS Type-C ports, again now a standard for the platform, updated networking to 5GB and Wi-Fi 7, and more. And its launch price manages to be less than the previous Gen X670E Taichi. That makes it easy to recommend for those looking to build a system around an AMD Ryzen 9000 CPU. With the jump up to X870, X870E, you get native support for Zen 5 based CUS USB 4.0, Wi Fi 7, and PCI C5.0 for both NVMe storage and graphics. The latest Taichi gets an updated look, extra DIY features, and more. Its performance in our testing was one of the fastest we've tested on the platform so far, if only by meager margins. Number 6 Gigabyte Z790A Aorus Extreme. The flagship class Z790 motherboards offer the best of the best in terms of features and specifications, but the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Extreme presents the best value among these top-end board. You'll lose a couple M.2 sockets over the more expensive flagship boards, but this bird otherwise has everything else you could ask for and more, while costing between $200 and $400 less than the competition. The Z790 Aorus Extreme delivers 10 GB Ethernet, 40 GB piece Thunderbolt 4 ports, flagship class audio, PCI 5.0 GPU and M.2 support, overkill power delivery, and that high-end appearance you expect from a high-end board. MSI Z790 Godlike offers up a few more features, but costs $400 more, and it's also physically bigger, making it hard to recommend to most people unless money is no object. Number 7. Asus ROG Strix B550E Gaming the Asus ROG Strix B550E is the same price as plenty of X570 motherboards, but it's a premium offering and the best B550 motherboard you can get, thanks to all the trappings you'd expect from Asus Republic of Gamers stables. We're talking 14 2 power stages, M.2 heatsinks, and pre installed backplates. You also get Wi Fi 6 wireless networking, as well as Intel 2.5G Ethernet, and RGB LEDs, of course. What you'll no doubt be wondering about is performance, is it actually all that much better than a more prosaic and cheaper B550 alternative? At stock clocks and default board settings, the inevitable answer is no. In fact, the Asus ROG Strix B550E Gaming is a solid 50% pricier than the likes of the MSI Mag B550M Mortar, and tangibly slower in most of our benchmarks, including games. Where the Strix looks stronger, it inevitably involves overclocking. AMD's Lace has fair approach to clocking the twangers off pretty much any CPU that comes its way by enabling access to super simple core ratio tweaks, means you'd almost be mad not to give it a go. The Strix B550E gets Asus slick and familiar BIOS interface that allows access to not only the core ratio, but pretty much every setting a keen overclocker could wish for. So you have the choice of bumping the core ratios up and letting the board work out the details or getting down and dirty with voltages and timings. Number 8. ASRock Z790 Steel Legend. The Z790 Steel Legend is a great choice for users on a budget who want the flexibility of Intel's overclockable platform, but who don't want to spend several hundred dollars to get there. Along with its black on silver looks and bright RGB lighting, you get all the platform offers, including a PCI 5.0 slot and M.2 socket, 8 SATA ports, front panel 20 GB PS USB Type-C, integrated Wi-Fi 6E, a basic audio codec, the EDP port for an additional monitor, and power delivery capable of handling our flagship class processor at stock or while overclocked. Around its $270 price, ASRock Steel Legend is one of the most feature-packed Intel Z790 options on the market. The only real trade-off here is the basic audio codec, which will still be fine for many users. 
If not, you can always opt for one of the best PC speakers that feature a built-in to can avoid the board's internal audio entirely. Number 9. MSI Mag B760M Mortar Wisconsin Phi MSI's Mag B760M Mortar Wisconsin Phi is a great inexpensive option that supports even the flagship class 12th and 13th generation Intel processors. For around $190, you get a PCI 5.0 slot for graphics 2M.2 .2 sockets, both PCI 4.0, a budget audio solution, and even a fast USB 3.2 Gen 2 X220 GBPS Type-C port at the back of the board. It also looks good for this price and has most of what users want in the budget space. Its performance in our testing was fine in gaming and lightly threaded work. Just note that out of the box with a high-end CPU like the Core i9-13900K we used for testing, it will thermally throttle under heavy workloads at default settings. The MSI Mag B760M Mortar Wisconsin Phi is the best option among its similarly priced competition. It's the only option in this range with a PCI 5.0 slot and a 20 GBPS USB Type-C port around back. Its power delivery can also handle our flagship processor, but if you plan on installing a flagship CPU and pushing every core and thread for uses other than gaming, you'll want to lower the voltage and .ORU's top-notch cooling to get the most out of the board. Number 10. MSI Mag B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 As long as you don't plan on overclocking your CPU or want to use PCI 5.0 devices before your next upgrade, the MSI Mag B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DDR4 and its B660 chipset makes for a great option for those looking to get into Alder or Raptor Lake, without putting a heavy burden on your build budget. It lacks the fancy looks and lighting of pressure models, but comes with everything you need to get the most out of a stock-clocked CPU. The mortar features two PCI 4.0 X4 M.2 slots, six SATA ports, a premium last-generation audio solution, and VRMs that easily manage the flagship Core i9 CPU we used for testing. In our testing, the performance on our B660M mortar was similar to the Z690-based DDR4 boards we tested previously. This sub-$200 motherboard was able to utilize our i9-12900K processor to its fullest stock potential, while costing a third less than most Z690 offerings. 